Hello there, Aquarius. So I feel that this month overall is going to be a very dynamic month in which there will be a lot of opportunities for you to come into contact with, um, you know, a lot of they're they're saying um, famous or even you know powerful influential people. Okay, and uh, I also feel that some of you will be attending like professional slash social functions, and um, I do sense as well. While there is a reason for you to be there, you're gonna feel a little bit more of a wallflower. You're gonna feel like. Um, it, they're saying like you need to be really fast on your toes when it comes to you know like being able to um, mingle and being able to talk to people so it's not just you know mindless banter I feel that you're gonna have like a lot of uh, disparate um, conversations happening around you but the conversations seem a little bit more professional technical so there's just a lot happening a lot of events that you're being invited to and a lot of opportunities where you're gonna feel almost as if I don't really fit in but at the same time you know in the process of attending these functions I feel that they're gonna be really good for you because the people that you're dealing with the people that you know are in those um, the those environments they're actually really good people they care about you know the they, they care about whatever causes it is and they are also um, very instrumental to your professional life okay so I feel like you're gonna be called upon to attend a lot of social functions some of you especially for those of you who are a little bit more on the shy end and others of you if you are especially a little bit more rigid because you know by rigid I mean um, if you hold on very very tightly to your your ideas and if you tend to be a little bit more like defensive when it comes to your ideologies um, I am sensing that it might be a little bit more of a struggle when you c attend these functions so they're saying to ease up a little bit listen to other people's point of view and you know um, aim for harmony aim for you know a middle ground aim for seeing things um, from a different viewpoint okay I feel like that's gonna be really beneficial for you uh, what I'm also feeling is that there might be, uh, for a few of you, there's going to be a review with another person and there's going to be contracts like new, um, you know, new protocol, new procedures, new contracts for work, for loans, whatever it is, they're being signed. And uh, I do see a lot of revision happening for you guys. And I see you like uh, filling out forms and documents as well and sending them off. Okay. So overall it's a little bit of a mixed bag of a month and I also feel it's going to be busy it's going to be hitting the ground running very busy things turning you know like hearing results hearing news hearing things from other people at the very last minute so I do feel there's gonna be a lot of things brewing and and dotting the landscape so it seems like you're gonna be keeping yourself quite occupied so let me just go into your reading here. Uh, one of the first things that I'm feeling as well is um, the idea about, you know, having a lot of opportunities for us to socialize, going out, meeting new people. And I do feel, once again, this is permeating in your uh, professional slash social circle. So you might be, uh, you might have friends at work and they're inviting you to, you know, um, uh, another like a, a networking event you might be hosting somebody for um, like a seminar or talk or something like that where you're gonna be center stage and I do feel there are opportunities for you to rub elbows with a lot of good people okay uh, making connection creating that professional contact base and I do feel there will be opportunities where you're gonna be kind of like in the limelight where you're gonna have to speak from the heart and you're gonna have to you know really allow other people to see who you are innately and as a result of that a lot of the times too I feel like some of you um, you might feel you're you're not one to over explain okay so um, and you're you're ability to make connection is highly intuitive so it's it's almost like you jump from A to Z um, without having to process everything in between because the way your mind works is like lightning fast 
And so at these gatherings, at these functions, you really want to be a little bit more methodical, you know, talking about first this happened, then this happened, then that happened. And as a result, that's why I'm here. Because I feel like people are interested in hearing the story, hearing how your mind works, hearing how you've arrived at the conclusion that you've arrived at. So they want to see the steps. They want you to describe to them the steps. So if there are important meetings, if there are important, you know, um, functions or important communication that needs to happen, aim to slow down the process because I feel like you intuitively jump from A to Z and your audience, the person that you're interacting with, they're not on board with, you know, that type of lightning fast methodology and uh, they might need more of a convincing so I feel like slowing down and explaining your mental processes how you have arrived at the conclusion that you've arrived at that's going to be really important okay so err on the side of having to over explain rather than explaining things uh, in a half-hearted attempt because I feel like it's gonna um, it, it might not go in your favor if you leave out important details that you feel is like oh that's intuitive they should already know that err on the side of over explaining rather than not okay um, so at these functions I do feel there's an element here of being a little bit of a wallflower um, kind of like you know one foot out the door so I feel that one of the things that you want to be careful about here is in life, right, we are given opportunities and um, opportunities for us to branch out, explore, travel, and as well interact with people that are not always like us. We are given these opportunities on an everyday level, on an everyday basis. And whether or not we choose to act on it, whether or not we choose to take up these opportunities, um, it's it's entirely up to human free will and so I feel like the opportunities are plentiful and they're all around you but people are just gonna you know knock on your door and tell you hey here's uh, what I have here's this other uh, project I want you to be involved in I feel that you need to step out of your comfort zone you need to step out almost like of your ideology um, as well in order to interact with people that might be very different from you. And uh, I honestly feel even though you are a very social sign, deep down Aquarius is a fixed sign. So you do tend to, you know, uh, play in the same circle and you find comfort in the same circle. And so how you embody the energy for this month is going to be very important, okay? Aim to take up new opportunities. Step out of yourself a little bit. Don't create this wall and don't create this bubble um, to block people out or to, you know, do very minimal mingling and then sitting back on the sidelines and people watch because you love to people watch. Um, so I feel that in the process of doing so, clinging onto the status quo and doing the minimum just to get by, it's really going to hinder your professional development. So I feel that there will be contracts, okay? There will be discussions and there will be important contracts that are signed for this month. And you really want to think about long term, you know, what do I need to do to foster my best capability to, you know, have the best professional life that I can have? What do I need to do as well in order to... Um, I, I guess create that financial foundation, you know, how do I allow the spotlight to shine on me and how do I allow other people to see the real me okay how do I do that and especially because you're such a humanitarian sign and um, I feel like a lot of the times you don't really like to talk about yourself you talk about ideas ideologies philosophies and you know observations you don't talk about yourself. You don't talk about, you know, you don't really hype up your skills. You don't hype up your assets because you feel like, oh, no, that's arrogant. That's bragging. And so you kind of downplay all these important or all these wonderful things about yourself as well. And so in any type of an interaction, OK, there is that give and take balance between how much we reveal and how much we ask. And we want to aim for balance. But at the same time, keeping 
things too close, not divulging things that, you know, you feel other people would know so that they can know a little bit more about you so that they can see you as someone who's a lot more approachable and a lot more emotionally available. I feel like that's really important for this month in your professional life. Okay. So, um, allowing people. So like, I guess like starting conversation or leaving, you know, that door for conversation to happen in a natural way, that's going to be really important for you. Okay. So Aquarius, I feel that opportunities are coming through. Opportunities are, are majorly coming through. And I also feel there is something, there is an offer coming through. Some of you might have multiple offers coming through. And I feel this is um, more on the professional, on the public sphere front. Um, some of them, they're they're coming with like uh, delays. They're coming with, you know, more stipulations, more conditions. And I feel that you're waiting on a major, 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 major news communication or a major contract with somebody like a, a person for a business partnership, a person for a partnership, even romantic partnership. Um, you're waiting on an entity, a company or something. You're waiting on the decision of another person. And it's it's been delayed. It's It's dragged on. And so you can't really make a move until you get the news, until you get the communication. And I do sense it is going to lift where you're getting that communication that you're hoping for. And so the setup for this month here is to be very clear about your intentions. Okay. So for example, if for example, you want to hear from that person, don't think about the negative. Don't think about, Oh, this person is never going to contact me because of A, B, C, and D because of all these things that you beat yourself up over. So don't dwell on those negativities and don't project, you know, negative energy, especially when you're waiting on something, when the decision has not been made yet, don't imbue that energy stream with negativity. Does that make sense? And then I feel on the other hand, um, there is a major, major relationship here that some of you are kind of reassessing. And, um, I do feel that this has been somewhat of a, you know, it, it's kind of like past that honeymoon stage. The relationship is kind of, so uh, people normally attribute, you know, the honeymoon stage with the first three months. And I feel for whatever, you've been dating this person probably for more than four months. And you're just like, what do I do now? Do we take things to the next level? Do we continue to see each other? Do we date exclusively. So I feel there is a major, major relationship in your life that you're trying to decide on. It makes you feel really good. It makes you feel very happy, ecstatic, very positive. You have somebody that is potentially very, very loving and caring and very mature. And you know, uh, when this card, this is a character card showing up in the reverse position, it's somebody that can, um, you might feel like they're not as emotionally available or emotionally as expressive. However, they have a lot of emotional strength. So I feel like there is a little bit of a disconnect in your relationship. On the one hand, you know, you're happy. On the one hand, you're very happy with this relationship. But on the other hand, it feels like something's missing. Some element of it is not quite right. And therefore, it's not enough for for you to reach that period of, um, you know, feeling totally complete with that person. So there's a lot happening this month. The major thing is social functions, professional functions. And I feel like contracts being signed is going to be delayed just a little bit. But I feel that it's going to be very good for you. Okay. And then moving forward, I feel like a lot of you are thinking about your long-term career and your professional life. And you're, you're kind of like losing focus and you're not really sure which direction you should be headed. But I do feel some things are going to break through for this month to allow you a better sense of direction as to where you need to go and where you need to be. Okay. So keeping yourself a little bit more flexible Aquarius that's going to be really crucial for you for this month okay so I'm going to go into your love and relationship reading and see what's going on for you guys 
So love, romance, and relationships. So we've got a water sign coming out again. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull out one more card and let me see what's happening. So Aquarius, I'm reading this in the upright position. I'm not re reading reversals for this spread mainly because it is easier for me. It's a non-traditional deck so the images require you know looking at it upright. But let me just um, talk about a few things here. And then I'm, I'm going to show you the cards and go into the cards. Um, one of the major things that I feel happening for this month is, um, and I feel a lot of it has to do with the transition in seasons, in climate overall. Um, you thrive really well in a warmer climate. I feel that, you know, when you're out and about and the weather is nice with a lot of uh, sunlight, especially in a lot of sunshine, and um, where you don't feel like really cold and cooped up in, the, um, in your room, I feel like it does wonders for your emotional well-being and for your ability to express yourself, okay? I also feel that air signs in general, and I, I see this a, a lot more with like um, Aquarius and, and um, Aquarius and Geminis, but also earth sign Virgos as well. Um, Virgos and Capricorns, Taurus not so much, but you guys, your, um, your mind is is racked with a lot of worries with a lot of anxieties okay you guys are like worry wards capricorn i feel like it's innately with their bone structure but here's what i'm sensing i feel like a lot of you have uh, a lot of like um cold hands or cold feet so the the uh areas that are furthest away from your heart right it, it doesn't get a lot of blood circulation and so getting yourself more physically active especially is really going to help you because I feel that your mind races a mile a minute. And um, when you can rechannel that energy doing physical exercise, it's really going to be good for your heart health, for your cardiovascular health. It's also going to help you pump your blood through all the you know different uh, areas of your body. And it's really important for you because I keep seeing this... Uh, Thing about you know cold hands cold feet poor uh, blood circulation and so I feel that because of that you might really suffer from you know shakes and chills and, and, and things like that um, when the weather is too cold and so when the weather warms up you know make the most of it go out soak up the Sun I see this image of a an amphibian soaking up in the the sunlight and i feel like it does amazing like um things to your body and for your emotional health so if you have a partner for example and things have not been going great you know have a picnic soak up some sun do some outdoor activities together to try to share that experience with one another and being outdoors is really going to be good for you okay so having said that, let me just go into your reading and I'll um, get to it in a, in a minute about, you know, why I brought up that up. But let's talk about the foundation and the foundation is something that you know to be true. We have here the two of swords as well as the knight of wands. So here's what I'm feeling for some of you innately. The Two of Swords is a situation where we are trying to decide how to move forward with a relationship partner. How to, you know, like, what do we want to do? How are we going to work together as a couple? What's going to happen to us? A lot of you are involved here with this fire sign. So this is showing up here as the Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There's a lot of people showing up in the spread, but um, let me just get the story out first. Um, something is telling you that 
oh, um, you know, they they come and go in your life. And they're very exciting, very attractive as well is what I'm sensing. They have a good heart. They have a really good heart. They care about people. They care about, you know, moral values. And um, they're very adventurous. When you're with them, you feel kind of like on top of the world because they show you the world. They show you a lot of new um, experiences and they want you to be with them to experience all of these new things. So you're with somebody that is very exciting, okay? Very, very attractive, very exciting, has a good heart. Um, the problem with this is this is a knight. This is somebody that is uh, still bouncing around trying to figure him or herself out. So I, I have here Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is somebody that um, has trouble staying still in one place. They could also have a lot of trauma or something, some, some issues in their past that they're not ready to confront. And so they go around, they, they go bumbling around, you know, trying to collect new experiences to fill in that void, I, I feel, essentially. And so a big part of you, you know, you, you see this because you're, you're really good. Um, you have a really good judge of character and you understand people's motives on a very deep level. And so I feel like with this person, it just feels to me like they might love the closeness and the intimacy of a relationship, but they don't really, they're not ready to compromise to have that type of a relationship. So it's going to be problematic having a relationship with them. Doesn't mean that it's not going to work, but I feel that um, if given the chance between, you know, new experiences and a relationship, they're going to opt for the new experiences. So they they are a good person, but I feel that they're they're still they have a lot of grown up to do. They want to do things on their own. They're very independent, and having a relationship is not something that they're ready to compromise uh, with just yet. I feel now we're talking about the past, okay? So some of you might be in a relationship with this person, very sexy and exciting, and just you know passionate, and has a really good heart has a really good heart and, and I do sense that a big part of you too like you care about this person but you feel like something is not matching up something is just not right um, and I feel like you doubt that there's going to be a relationship potential so if you continue to see this person I feel that it can be a really fun experience it can be short term it can be very short term and I feel like this person might be younger than you okay biologically younger not all, but I feel like some of you dating this person, they might be biologically younger. So in the past, we have here the Seven of Swords, and this is indicative of lying, cheating, deception, and overall, you know, negativity when it comes to relationship, being lied to, being misled, being, um, uh, feeling like information has been held from you from a significant other. It's linked up here with the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords basically means that it's a situation that we need to look into, that we need to be more mindful of, that we need to be a little bit careful about. But we're not heeding our intuition. And we're also kind of like, we don't, we feel like we don't have all the information. So we're waiting for information to come through. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. And as a result, we are kind of like stuck and stagnant and not able to move on. I feel some of you have dealt with a person in your past where they were very, very covert. They were very secretive, very secretive, very, um, I, and when I say secretive, I automatically think about, you know, Scorpio. So some of you might have been involved with them. And um, I feel that they're already in the past, meaning they don't really matter anymore. But it just feels to me like there was a lot of deception. There was a lot of like, um, you know, um, you have the, the pieces of the puzzle. But it feels like there are some things that are missing. And because you are uh, an air sign, you have to have answers. You have to find out, you know, what exactly happened. You have to know, right? And so you, you still have, I feel like emotionally you're done with this. Because if somebody, you know, cheats or if somebody lies to you, they have fallen off their pedestal. And you no longer respect them. And when you don't respect somebody, 
you move on, right? But there are still curiosities. There are still like unanswered questions. There are still missing pieces of that puzzle that you still want to find out. You still want to figure out. I feel there is going to be, you know, good news is that there's some information coming to light. We have here the high priestess. And the high priestess basically means, you know, information being revealed, the veil being lifted so that we can see a situation in its full glory, as well as communication possibly about third party interference as it relates to a situation from your past. Okay, I don't feel like some of you are dealing with this in the present time, but there might have been somebody in your past and you're just like, what exactly happened, um, you know? You, you have like you you have the whole narrative but there are some plot holes and you're trying to fill in the puzzle and you might have been thinking about this for the past you know eight months you might have been racking your brains trying to figure it out you're not emotionally invested but you want to know the answers and so we have some information being revealed here we have some uh, solid you know answers coming into the picture and I do feel that for some of you, it might relate to um, the information might be about a water sign. So this is a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Or if you I feel like there might be a third party interfering in that relationship and you're coming into, you know, full knowledge of it for this month. OK, so keep in mind, this is something that's already happened in the past now you're you've already moved on you're in another relationship you are with somebody else it's just some things are coming back from the past so you have here a little bit of a blast from the past not exactly the physical person but there's going to be news insights information revelations about that person from the past crowning this reading is somebody that you're thinking about we have here the King of Cups, and this is another water sign. So it could be the same person or a different person. This is somebody that you're thinking about. We have here a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and this is a male or female. So whenever this person uh, shows up, and it doesn't matter if it's male or female, this is somebody that is very loving, very caring. And um, I also feel in some instances, you know, they can be a little bit controlling, a li just a little bit. Um, this is somebody that, you know, he's, I say control mainly because of that chalice and the act of like that manipulation. Okay, so there, there, there might be some controlling tendencies. This is somebody that has been through a lot of hardships in his or her life, okay? And um, he or she is not a victim of their circumstance. They, they, you know, they blast through things and um, they get over it. So I feel like emotionally they are really strong. Emotionally they're very, very um, supportive as well. And uh, nothing really scares them. You can tell them, you know, the most taboo story and they don't really bat an eye because they've seen the worst of human nature. They've seen the best of human nature as well. So nothing really surprises them. So some of you are dealing with this person or heavily thinking about this person. Some of you have recently uh, had some, or some of you might be moving away from this person for good. And then others of you, there might be a separation associated with this person. Okay. So we have somebody here that you're really thinking about and you might be traveling to see the person. They might be traveling to see you as well because the six of swords is a major travel card. And in the outcome, we have here the Hierophant relationships being taken to the next level. We have you or possibly another air sign. So I feel like there is a new relationship that is solidified, taken up to the next level. So I feel like if you are dealing with an air sign, another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, there is going to be a relationship taken to the next level. But either way, I feel that there are major decisions being made here about your relationships, okay? Um, I'm sensing for a few of you, there's going to be information coming back regarding something that happened and it's something that you've been racking your brains about you know for some time new information new insights allowing you to move on new information new insights allow you to a fresh clean start so i feel there's going to be you know major transformation happening in love some people are taking relationships to the next level other people are starting over with a new person 
And um, I feel, though, it's just going to be a really dynamic month for love overall, okay, Aquarius? So I hope the reading has been helpful for you. Um, it is going to be a little bit of a uh, busy month, so don't leave things to the last minute. Make sure all your practical responsibilities, once again, are taken care of early on, okay? I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.